Hi, in this video we will learn how to find or how to calculate the Z-transform of a given sequence in MATLAB. Open MATLAB. In MATLAB, let's first clear it. Uh, in MATLAB, there is a symbolic mathematics which will be required to, uh, to generate the symbolic representation or to solve the equations in MATLAB. So first we need to create the symbolic variables and uh, those variables can be defined by the command SYMS and we will uh, define <coughs> this SYMS n variable. Now we will define the sequence. So sequence suppose sequence is n plus 1 and for finding the Z transform of uh, this sequence there is a simple command like Z trans of variable a so if we now display the b then we will uh, we will be given the z transform of the sequence n plus 1 so it's z upon z minus 1 plus z minus 1 to whole square we can also represent in a better way by the command simple pretty so now it looks nicer uh, in, a, in the sense that uh, everything is uh, similar to, uh, to the way we used to solve on the, our notebooks. So let's uh, try to find the Z transform of other sequences as well. Suppose our sequence is, uh, uh, sequence is 2 to the power n. Let's uh, have a look uh, what is the Z transform of it and Z trans of A and if we press B Z by Z minus 2 so it's very simple we can also find the Z transform of trigonometric functions like uh, sine wave or the cosine wave so in this particular uh, case uh, we will try to find uh, the Z transform of a cosine wave so once again we will define the symbolic variable in this case uh, cosine or trigonometric functions are defined by the frequency component and the uh, sample uh, sample value so we will define two variable n represent the time and then the omega which represents the frequency and our signal can be defined by a equals to sine omega into n that's it and we can easily uh, find the Z transform of it V equals to Z trans of A and let's uh, see how the Z transform look like so this is the given Z transform of uh, this uh, sine omega n and let's in a uh, good way so it's Z sine omega upon Z square minus cos uh, twice of cos omega w plus 1 so it is the same as that we find in uh, our notebooks so through this way we can easily find the z transform or we can uh, verify our result in practice through the demonstration in MATLAB whether we are working correct or not so that's it for this video thank you